Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, Justin uh, came up to me during intermission of a production we were doing in 1997 of Alice in Wonderland, which was a kid's show. And he said, how can I be involved in this? I've got to get up there on stage. What do I do? And I said, just come and audition. Don't stress out. Just come and audition for us. He had no experience at all, but he really had a, a desire. So he came and auditioned for our production the following year of The Wiz, which we did. And, of course, I cast him. He was a terrific kid. And he ultimately ended up being on stage in every single production until the time he went off to college. Um, wow. In 1999, he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And uh, it was a very difficult time for him. And um, he subsequently joined the cast of West Side Story, not the one you were in, Brad, of course, but <laughs> the other one with um, our youth ensemble production. And um, he says that that saved his life uh, because he had to um, experience the difficulty of going through chemotherapy, which was very rough. And um, and then to come the, to rehearsals in the evening. He'd come to the rehearsals in the evening and be sick, and um, the doctor advised him not to, but that was the one thing in his life that he felt kept him going. And um, he, of course, made it through all of the treatment that he had to. Uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma is not quite as um, life-threatening as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, but it was at, in any event, it was still a very, very uh, serious illness. Mm -hmm. And Justin just passed his bar exam, and wow. he's now an entertainment lawyer. So if anybody needs a lawyer, wow! Uh, Justin's a terrific guy, oh terrific kid, and um, what an inspirational story! Yeah, he's involvement in arts truly can make a difference in people's <laughs> wow. lives. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, just putting yourself out there in the community, taking yourself out of your your world for a minute. Really One can. of the pleasures that we have is that we watch these generations of young people come through. About eight years ago, Jan came to, came to me. And we were talking about maybe leaving Simi Valley and doing something else. And she came back from the first day of the workshop, and she said, we can't go. <laughs> I said, why? She said, because it's an entire new crop, a new generation. So we have uh, watched these young people thrive under the, with the arts as part of their education and their life, and they do thrive. They certainly do, through your efforts and the efforts of uh, ARTS Performing Arts Academy, soon to be open in fall of 2011. Fingers crossed. For information, again, you can go to cme-artsdiet.org or actorsrepofcme.org. Or if you want to help build a dance studio or two. There are naming opportunities out there if anybody has a spare 150K. That's right. That's right. Or some building materials. Anything. <laughs> we take donations. We're happy to take donations. Get involved. <laughs> Get involved in the arts, guys. It's, it's definitely a great place to be. Thanks again for coming in, Jan and David. Thank you. Thanks, Brett and Eddie. Oh, thank you for coming in. We really appreciate it. And next week, we're going to be talking to... Marcus Sagato. Marco Sagato. So make sure you turn it, tune in next Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific time for La La Land with Brett and Nettie. Until then, that's Nettie Liddell. <laughs> that's Brett Chapin. And this was La La Land. And we will see you at the top. Because I always have to steal my kisses from you. Which was most important because that was your theme. Are you tired of hearing your favorite talk radio shows sound like this? What if you could hear your favorite shows in crystal clear, high-definition digital sound? Well, with CRN Digital Talk...